morning, YouTubers, friends, followers, subscribers, my Trevorites, my lovers and haters, waste of spacers, masturbators, masturbators, I said. Don't get my words twisted. Thank you for coming on and watching my YouTube channel. But if you're watching this right now and you've not yet subscribed, why not? It's free. And it's Sunday morning. Known as the Lord's Day, the day of rest. I'm having a coffee and a cup designed to keep me happy, as you can see. Right. Loads going on. Had a few phone calls yesterday, actually. And trying to sort of... Trying to keep on top of things. Because I have a tendency of getting excited when something's going, good's going to happen. And what normally happens is... When I was on social media, which I'm not anymore, when I was on and I would type what good's going, something's good happening, yeah, I can't wait. I would have a troll contact that individual and try and ruin it for me. So now I don't tell people what I'm doing. I just do it, okay? So, yeah, a good week ahead is coming. I've, I've learned quite a few things. Uh, spoke to a few YouTubers. I don't know why we say the word offline. Offline means not on YouTube. We spoke privately on WhatsApp. So I've done that uh, a few, yeah. And I've learned quite a lot of things, actually. Uh, so I'm sort of keeping my mouth zipped at the minute with certain things. But there are certain people going to have a crash soon. And uh, I, I just don't want to be part of it. Um, when you see individuals starting to become a little bit toxic, don't tell them they're toxic, for God's sake. Don't ever do that, because it makes things worse. Just take a step back and go, OK, carry on. And let them get on with it because when you get involved you try to fix things which i've noticed in the past you become the target the brunt anyway just stop all protesters yesterday tried to uh, well try to ruin the rugby final uh which was uh good for them i don't know why they do it um they do it because they only do it in places where they're going to get attention and it's going to be in the media they wouldn't do it where we live because they would be battered they would be battered um if they did it at your child's football match, they'd be dragged off and beat to a pulp. And they know that. But they do it on a stage where they know they're safe. Um, they are attention seekers. People that haven't achieved much in life and need to be a social... Tra they're trying to become social media famous. A bit like the dickhead in TikTok. Oh, I did it for fun. Went in people's houses. These people need slap. It's bad. For if your kid is on TikTok and doing this stuff, then you, you... Are a shit parent. Get a grip of them. Get them off it. Delete the app. Don't have it. Jesus. I know people that use TikTok and look at things and videos and all. And that's all they do. But other people take it too far. Take it to a different level. Idiots. Right. Now. I'm sure you've heard of the royal biographer. Angela Kelly. Who worked very, very closely with the Queen. Well, King Charles is now the king, clearly, and he's trying to change things. However, Angela Kelly has got a signed letter from Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II stating that she has permission to write three books. She's only written two. And King Charles has jumped in there with an NDA, a non-disclosure agreement, and said you cannot write any more. And just to make up for that, I'm going to give you a house. So King Charles has given her a house to keep as a gift, so she doesn't write another book. Uh, it's probably a first swap, but at the end of the day, if the house is worth a few pounds, which I'm sure it is, she could just say, thanks, King, I'm gonna walk off now. But because she has that signed letter from the Queen, he legally can't stop her. So there. Do I wanna read another book? No. There's too many books about the Queen and the Royal and Harry and Meghan, it's just bullshit now. It's just a group of narcissists trying to see who's the best at not trying to be a narcissist, in my opinion, clearly. Uh, so what else is happening? Oh, I'm sure you've all heard of this. Have you heard of Gemma Collins, reality TV star? The Well, I, 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 I will always tell you what I think, in my opinion. The obese blonde woman from 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 Taui. Oh, I uh, the only way is Taui, but I don't know don't, that program. So yeah, she did the jungle. I think she lasted sixteen minutes in the jungle and cried. It wasn't her thing. Well, she's now complaining. Now she would she would attend the opening of an envelope for a start, but she's now complaining that she tried. She's into uh, plants and gardening and 
horticulture, I think it's called, yeah. She's into all that type of stuff and she's now complaining that the Chelsea Flowers show is snobs because they refused to let her enter and she believed that if she had entered it, um, she could have inspired the next young generation of gardeners. That's how highly she thinks of herself. Now, I'm going to be honest, I wouldn't have let her enter either. The garden, the flower show is about flowers. It's about gardens. It's not about individuals. It's not about promoting your own bullshit. We know you've done the cooking programs and the jungle thing and you've done um, celebrity dates. and you've done, every, you've done everything you can possibly to promote your pitiful life. So why should the gardening world let you enter there to try and turn it into some sort of social media bullshit? I'm glad that they didn't let you in, okay? I'm sure you have people in the comments saying, oh, but I like her. Well, I don't care. It's your opinion. Some people like King jong Mung Doesn't mean to say he's a good person in North Korea. Uh, what else? Another royal biographer was on GB News again. The same one. It's um, um, I actually like her. Her name's Angela. She's confirming things that Harry's going through separation and he's living in a hotel to get space. He's living in a hotel to get space. But he has 14 bathrooms and nine bedrooms and a mansion, several buildings. Sure, surely there's enough space there. But anyway, there we go. Or maybe, maybe I picked it up wrong. Maybe he needs to go to a hotel to get spaced. That's what it is. He needs to go to a hotel to get spaced. I must have read that wrong. Uh, and you know what? There's no getting away from it, people. There's no getting away from it. Holly, Holly's now front page. She's front page of the paper. And this is what she's written. Holly, Phil lied to me. Phil lied to me. Holly, get off your fucking high horse. No one gives a damn about you. You're actually coming out of this story as an accomplice. Maybe that's why you cut ties. Nobody cares about if, if he lied to you. What we all know is he lied to his wife and kids. That's more important than lying to somebody. And before Holly Willoughby jumps on her high horse and says, he lied to me, I feel, what is it? Um, it's hurtful. And I, I, he denied the affair. All this shit that Holly's coming off with. Holly, you arrived on the show like a little giggly schoolgirl. He groomed you as well. He groomed you to be a good presenter. You're the last person that should be having a go at Phil. You're the, his wife should be the first person. IT, ITV, the second. His management team, the third. But not you. Jesus Christ. How can you ever have a go at Phil? You're earning £730,000 a year sitting on a sofa which Phil's ass warmed for you. If anything, you should be there in his corner. I don't support Phil. I'm just saying I don't like these people that are pretending to be hurt. Jesus Christ. I heard this morning that Alison Hammond and, and Dermot O'Leary are fuming. They are fuming that ITV and the crew this morning forced them to give out that 30 second bullshit about we have to thank Phil for, for 20 years. And apparently they were forced to do that. So there we go. If they're forced you to do things, Stop taking the golden check. Walk off to another channel. Walk off to another channel. Uh, this morning's now under investigation by not only the police, but by Ofcom. Independent. It, it, it's a shit show. And um, I mean that. I mean that actually. It is a shit show. Uh, well, listen, people. Uh, it is Sunday. It is a day of rest. I have uh, used a, a couple of foul language there, and I'm sorry. Hopefully Jesus will forgive me. But then again, of course he does. Of course he does. I'll probably get a strongly worded letter from the government for using foul language. You know? If rapists and pedophiles and murderers can be forgiven, I'm sure Trevor saying a few colourful words on a YouTube channel will be forgiven too. So there we go. You alright, Zeus? He's been out. Listen, have a great day, everyone. Stay safe. And thank you all. Thank you all. For the continued support on my channel. Those that support it. If you don't think I care. That's a lie. I do care. But don't post things like. Trevor. You have not thanked me. Because I've donated a pound to your channel. I'm like listen. 
I appreciate it. I thank everyone at the end of each video. So thank you very much. I do appreciate it. Now have a great day. Stay safe.